Um, so Richard, we're here at Paramute 2022. Indeed we are. And you've, your talk's so popular that they're now splitting it in half. <laughs> <laughs> it's time I went. It's time I retired. It really is. What have you been yeah. talking about today? Uh, uh, ghosts. <laughs> no, no, basically, I'm... I'm, I'm as, as I tell them at the beginning, I'm, I'm the bloke that's trying to prove what ghosts are, and I'm, I'm the voice of reality, I think. Yeah. I am the voice of reality, and, and I, I'm just trying to, I'm trying to prove what I know everybody else is, they're all, everyone's trying to prove what ghosts are, really, mm. or are they? Are they? I don't know. You tell me. You well, I, I, I think you're you're half right. Yeah, I think I think there's a good chunk of people that are trying to seek proof and find out what ghosts yeah. are, and there's a good chunk of people that are trying to make entertaining content themed around ghosts. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. Um, I think I think and I think you're quite interesting because you're very much a storyteller. And, exactly. And you like the ghost stories, but yeah. also you do like. I like to take them to pieces. Yeah. And and analyze them. Um, and and funnily enough, you, you say uh, story, which is absolutely right. But I I refer to what I'm referring, what I'm telling people as accounts, mm. not stories. Mm. Um, and I think there's a big difference between a story and an account because a story gets handed down from you know generation to generation and becomes you know like Chinese whispers. That yeah. get changed. Whereas accounts from people that have si from this generation that have seen it, heard it, sensed it, felt it, or whatever, it is very different. Hence the fact that the, the, the book I've just brought out called The People, funnily enough, I call it The People's Ghost Stories. I shouldn't have done. Mm. I should have called it People's Ghost, People's Accounts. Yeah. Because they are Joe Public that saw ghosts, heard ghosts, felt ghosts, mm. um, rather than M.R. James, Edgar Allan Poe, um, Lord Halifax, yeah, you know what I mean? They're sort of, they're yeah, different. But, but then where I think you come into it as a storyteller is they are accounts, but you bring those those accounts ah. to life. And I think that, I, I yeah. mean, your ghost walks is testament to that. Yes, yes. I don't know why, I haven't a clue. Everyone says to me, you know, I get this, today, you know, oh, I could listen to you all night. And I think, well, I, I don't know. Why. So in other words, I we've all, got, we've all got some attribute or ability, I suppose. And mine is telling stories, yeah. I suppose. Yeah. Um, but, but... But putting them in a... I, I know what it is, because I do the same with schools, because um, I teach local history, mm. Derby's local history in schools. Um, but I have an ability to, to seek out the bits that people want to hear. Yeah. The interesting, the, ex the juicy bits, yeah, is well, what I call it. Yeah, having done your execution days, I know that's very much the case with, with that event. Yeah, so. that's right, isn't it? You know, I come out with, I find, I found the horrible history, I suppose, is yeah. the word, isn't it? If you get your audience squeaming. Yeah, and, but, but they remember it. Yeah. And, and I think it's the same with ghosts, because I tie, the first ghost story I ever did, sorry, the first ghost walk I ever did, I hated it. Everyone loved it. I didn't. I thought I'm not doing that. I can't do this. I didn't do. I didn't do another one for months because I thought I don't believe what I'm telling people. Mm. I, I can't believe this stupid story I've just told you. Uh, I, if I'm going to do it, I've got to believe it. And so I stopped for well over six months and researched and took on. Well, not took on, but a local guy who was a medium actually. Um, but if there is such a thing as a genuine medium, he was. Yeah. Seventh son of a seventh son, Irish. Uh, he got all the... Gay. Sorry. <laughs> all the attributes uh, for, for a medium. Yeah. And he was good. And, but he not only was good, he'd also done um, lots of stuff, a book about Derbyshire ghosts. And, and I learned so much from him. But I learned so much of the reality behind the ghost business from him. Mm. Uh, that enabled me to go back and start doing ghost walks that people loved. But of course, it, 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 it also had the history of the ghost with it. And that's where I think it comes in, ghosts and history together. I think history is a very important part of it. I think it is. Because for every ghost story, there is an element of some very important history. Yes, there, there is. And, and that's, you know, if we went round all night, so there's a ghost in there, yeah. there's a blue lady in there, there's a pink lady in there, there's a poltergeist in there. Well, oh dear, how boring would that be? So you've got to go in, you know, what is a poltergeist? Why is, that, why is a ghost pink? Why is that one blue? Mm. Why is it there? What happened to it that caused it still to be there? 
what can we do for it? What, what? What do you mean? It's a ghost. Yeah, it was a human being once. Yeah. And it shouldn't be here. Perhaps we should be helping it. Is, is there a, there's so much more too. But then surely a lot of it then as well is what is the building it's in and what's the history of that building and who's lived there. And yeah, yeah. and what happened in there? Yeah. That caused the ghost. Because again, you see, I find bricks and mortar alone boring. Mm. But bricks and mortar plus flesh and blood becomes very interesting. Yeah, I think I agree with that, yeah. It's right, isn't it? Yeah. If you stood outside and told them all about the um, the ashlar pedimented architraves of the... Pardon? What? Uh, yeah. But if you told them a little bit about that, and that it was whatever period it was, and, but then you start telling them what's what went on inside, who lived in it, what they mm. did in it, invented something, died in it, murdered in it, yeah. or, or, or was just a very famous person until the, the whole building... Becomes, it becomes peopled, it becomes mm. alive. Yeah, it becomes a place. And not, yeah. put a ghost in it as well, and you, you're there, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, you're making <laughs> history true, interesting. Yeah, yeah, I think so, yeah. A few years ago, you'd never get the National Trust or English Heritage advertising anything to do with the fact that there's a ghost in there. Yeah, like. yeah. Now, very different, mm. yeah. And um, obviously you're the custodian of one of the most iconic haunted places in the UK, Dubs really, Dubs Jail, yeah. My God. Do you still get activity there? Is it yeah. still quite an active oh, place? Oh, big time. I mean, um, hang on. Um, I mean, uh, oh, two nights ago, I lost my car key at the end of the ghost war. And two people with me, luckily. Torches, we searched, and I, I knew that I'd walked out of the building with a bin bag and thrown it in the dustbin, in a big bin. Yeah. And I'm telling myself, I got the key in my hand when I did it, so it's got to be in the bin. We went back twice more and searched the building first. So we emptied the bin. It was full. We never found the key. I walked back into Derby Jail, <laughs> and the, 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 the door where the day room is, where we have the fire, there it was. The key on the floor. Now, it's impossible. I mean it. I've said it so many times. It's impossible. Yeah. We, we would have seen it over and over and over. We'd have kicked it. If you're looking for it, especially, yeah. There it was. My wife won't have it. She said, oh, you... No, but I'm telling you, that was not... But the best one I've had since I saw a ghost was Halloween, uh, when my whiskey glass threw itself off the table. Well, that's amazing and slightly inconvenient. Oh, I lost my whiskey. <laughs> yeah. But I've got an audience watching. I was sat at the table. There was a couple opposite me. My whiskey glass was here. And I was doing... Go I wasn't doing an event. I'd finished. I was doing... I'd invited people back for ghost stories for Halloween at 11 o'clock. Mm. And my whiskey glass started moving across the table. I didn't notice it because someone else was telling a story. And it continued and stopped. I picked it up, had another drink, put it down. It continued <laughs> to the end and threw itself off the end. Oh, and right. and the, straight away, I'm, well, it's, it's on it's on film, it's on CCTV and someone's camera as well. Yeah. It's impossible. Uh, first thing I did was table, wet, sliding across, table's dry, another lady gets up, feels it yeah, dry. That's Next thing I'm doing, banging the table, tipping the table, because that's me, you know, tick the normal boxes. Yeah. I'd say. Oh, that's really good. It's a belter. It's a really good one. Yeah. I have no explanation for it. Mm. And that's all, that's all you want. That's all you want. If you can't explain it, that's, that's good enough yeah. for me. Yeah, All the tick, all the boxes are ticked. All the normal boxes have been ticked. Mm. And I still have a, a box without a tick in it. Yeah, good. And um, obviously, you did, um, a few years ago now, your um, your haunted tour of Great Britain. Oh, did you stop in, um, in Leicestershire? Did, was I did Leicestershire. Tour? In fact, I started the video on the battlefield of Bosworth. Oh, OK. OK. Uh, yeah. That was, it was the second DVD video I ever did. Derby, right. Derby Ghost was first, mm. and then Leicestershire. Um, I've now completed 37 counties, but I've stopped because I have a problem. It's the DVD video business is over. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and downloads, not, it's, not, it doesn't, it's not working. I don't know what to do with all the videos I've got. Mm. Because at the moment, there's one or two on YouTube. But if we created a proper yeah. platform, perhaps start doing them again. Well, see, as someone who creates content, I don't believe that any content should ever be lost. It should always be available to I someone. Agree with you. I, I, I think absolutely agree with definitely you. Definitely true. I mean, even if we don't, I mean, the chances of making much out of YouTube is remote. Mm. But 
loads of publicity from it. Yeah, yeah. People get to see it. But, um, so, but you didn't come to Bosworth Hall then as part of your... No, um... no I didn't. No, okay. fact, I didn't even know of its existence. Mm. Then. Well, it's a very fitting place. Fabulous for... place, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I am very impressed. Mm. Yeah. And it's a hotel as well, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, I stayed last night. Oh, really? Um, and did, did you get the haunted bedroom? <laughs> I don't Well, It, it was a very, very peaceful bedroom? night. I don't know. But, um, but it was great to wander around in the dark. It looked yeah, so atmospheric last it, night. It is a fabulous place. Yeah, yeah. I presume it's haunted. Yeah, they, they, they do ghost hunts here. Um, the Haunted Magazine guys have done... Um, really? They host one every year. Even Halloween. though it's a hotel? Yeah, but I mean... I mean, as, as you, uh, you said yourself, you know, a building where people come and have come and gone over the years oh God, yeah. has all that story. Think people come happening. and go here every week still. Yes, of so, course. Yeah. So it's, it's almost living. And people die in the bedrooms. Yeah. Yeah. Things happen in the bedroom. Yeah, it's true, isn't it? Yeah. Because yeah. you're a big believer in, in stone tape, aren't you? Oh, big time. Mm. Big time. And again, you know, traumatic, tragic events that happen can be held in the family. Well, not just traumatic. Happy events. Energy events. Yeah. It doesn't have to be trauma, I don't think, that causes a recording. Mm. I think we are capable with our energies if we're related and happy. Then that can cause, I think, a recording in the building. Yeah, I mean, it, it's very logical to me. As someone who's a bit more sceptical, it, yeah. it makes sense that, that that's that, what people are witnessing. Yeah, yeah I think so. And, um, Pretty sure. And for me, it answers that, that question. I, I think you touched on it in your book, actually, what is a, what is a ghost? Um, of why do ghosts wear clothes? Why do? How can you see the ghost of clothes? Yeah, unless it's someone's memory. Yeah. Recorded. Yeah, I think so. Or, or, and I'm not sure how this one works. Um, mm, granddad, perhaps, if he wanted to present himself in front of his grandchild, wouldn't present himself. A A wouldn't present himself naked, and B <laughs> wouldn't present himself as he was when he died yeah he would probably somehow and i don't know how this works through your perception capable of presenting themselves in the clothes that you knew them as mm. yeah so that favorite jumper oh, you know what i mean or the cardigan or the cloth cap or um, that's a possibility but i don't know how that works i still think my theory on the recording is 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 better. It does make sense to me, yeah. Yeah, it makes sense, but mm. not to science. But what what do you feel then about um, teams that are now quite obsessed with things like demons? Demons? Is, is, that's just another thing I invented by the church. Mm, yeah. Uh, we, we had a devil, uh, which they created, and then they had to have little devils, and they were known as demons. It's a, it's a Greek word for, I can't remember, mm. something evil, but basically a demon is it's made up by Christianity. Um, and anybody hearing voices, it was a demon whispering in their ear. Yeah. It's all, it's all made up by the church, mm. I'm afraid. But oh, God, yeah. for me, with demons specifically, I don't see there's a need for them when you can have a good human and a bad human. Why can't a bad, why can't a bad why ghost they, just be a bad well, ghost? They are, that's the whole point. That's what they are. Mm. As I said in the talk, you know, don't think Hitler's wandering around picking daffodils. Because mm. he isn't. Because he was, call him a demon if you like, but he was an evil person. Yeah. And, and there is evil. And, and, and the older people get, I only said it to someone yesterday, is it some prerequisite that when you get old you have to be miserable <laughs> and you have to wander around with a long face and never smile? Because that's what you get with an awful lot of old people. Yeah. And, you know, they should be rejoicing that they've reached the age they have. Yeah. Yeah? Same with death, really. We shouldn't mourn, we should celebrate. Yeah, I mean, this is something I mentioned with the Queen's death the other week. I mean, the longest reigning monarch, yeah. 90, 93, 96, 96 died celebrate comfortably around that her family. Incredible reign. Yeah. Which we should do. I think we should stop wearing black as well. Well, I, I, I certainly wouldn't want that at my funeral. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> yeah. Celebrate it. Yeah. Yeah, mm. absolutely. Too, and you, too old. you mentioned a new book as well. Is, yeah. that, is that out now? Yes, yes. People's Ghost Stories. Um, it's, well, how can I put it? It's accounts from Joe Public mm. that have seen them, heard them. Sent. So, as I say in, uh, in the preface of the book, it, this is not something written by an academic, not something that someone's written by trolling the internet for stories or reading books from the past or making up stories. This is, story, this is accounts from you and me, mm. Joe Public, is how I refer to it, that have seen ghosts or heard ghosts. Yeah. And, and it's not 
from the past, it's from now. Yeah. They've seen it. They saw it last year, ten years ago, as a child. Um, and the fascinating bit of it, to me, I refer to it as the proof, this book is the proof that ghosts exist. Because you've got people that are telling the story, I don't know, a lady in, when she was a child in Edinburgh, woke up in the middle of the night and saw grandma standing at the foot of bed. Yeah. Another guy from, from Brighton uh, was 14 and woke up in the middle of the night and saw grandma standing by the side of his bed. Um, They've never met. They're, they're, they're from a different, but they they experience the same sort of thing. And there's quite a bit of that in the book. Mm. Different accounts, but they're the same. Similar themes. But they're not yeah. people that have ever met. But see, I, I think those kind of stories, because um, people will get these gadgets and devices and try and show you stuff. Yeah. But if you tell me you've experienced something, no matter what I think, no matter how I try and debunk it, if you've experienced something, you've experienced yes. it. And yes. that will be totally real to you. It yeah. could be a ghost, it might not be, oh, but yeah. you can't take that experience away from someone. it was, someone. was an experience that you had that you can't explain. Mm. And that's the difference. And that's what... That's why that book's so good. I'm actually already working on volume two. Oh, I'm getting so many accounts from people. Yeah. Uh, but it's gone down a tree, it really has. Because I had my first ghost sighting this year after quite a lot of ghost right. hunting. And it's not convinced me that spirits are walking among us, but I saw something I can't explain. And other people would describe lesser things as a ghost. So I feel I'm quite justified in calling what I saw a ghost. And all it was was a gray shape that appeared in Woodchester Mansion, faded in, lasted about three seconds and faded out again. Very indistinct shape, but long like a human. Well, and you see, mine was grey. The one I saw mm. was human shape, but not male, not female, not male. Mm. Yeah. But dense. Mine was dense. It was a, a, a grey haze. Yeah, mine, mine was... Couldn't see through Mine it. was almost... Yeah, mine would be solid. Yeah, it was a, it was a shape in the darkness. There you are. And it's illuminated by torchlight, which is why I could see it. Did you sense it as well? Not really. No. It was too quick. I did. I was I... looking straight down the yeah. corridor, and it just faded in, and it was there. And mm. I, I had time to take it in, but then it was gone yeah. again. Mine was about five seconds. And this was in the jail, wasn't it, yours? Sorry? Was yours in the jail? Yes, in yeah. the corridor, in the jail. And I was on the phone, talking <laughs> to somebody from Derby City Council. I really was not thinking ghosts, mm. as it went past. It's the only ghost I've ever seen. Mm. And I, again, I've ticked every normal box there is. Yeah. To di I must, I have to try and disprove it, and I can't. Well, it's quite an isolated place, isn't it? It's not yeah. like you could be getting light in from outdoors. Or no, 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 no. You see, my first thought was someone, it, 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 it didn't look like someone, but it, you know, someone's come in. Mm. So I went to the front of the counter and shouted, excuse me, thinking that we're not open, but someone had come in. Yeah. 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 Mm. That's uh, similar. Yeah. Very. Scarily similar, gray. yeah. So many of them do seem to be grey. Yeah. And again, as far as I know, no one has ever, and I haven't, come up with why are the green ghosts, pink ghosts, grey ghosts, yeah. white ghosts, what's that all about? Mm. <laughs> well, that's your next book. That's the next one. <laughs> the Thank you very ghost. much, Richard. It's my pleasure. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you. Thanks.